some of the most inspiring and ambitious thought about Europe, um, what Europe should be, how it should get its act together as a foreign policy player, um, how much input it should put into NATO as the, as the Atlantic Alliance, some of the most interesting thought is coming from Central Europe, from these countries that are still called sometimes the new members of the EU and of NATO, um, but who have a very distinct way of thinking about Europe as such, as uh, thinking about political Europe. And it's quite graspable, actually, when you're in the region, um, how much different the debate um, and the level of ambition that they have, uh, both for the transatlantic relationship and for the EU integration process, how different it is from the Western European kind of tired, almost saturated kind of, of narrative. And I wanted to express that in the piece. I wanted to say, okay, you know, listen, people, if you are looking for interesting ideas in a time where Europe is in dire need of fresh ideas, then maybe one of the places you want to look at is Central Europe. The recommendations for the Europeans are always the same. Get your act together, do more, um, put more capabilities on the table, um, both in terms of military hardware for the security side of things, but also more intellectual investment into the bigger strategic uh, questions of the day. Invest in your Eastern partnership. You know, resolve these issues. This is, these are make or break issues for you foreign policy wise. And get the inspiration, get the cues for this kind of thinking from the Central Europeans who often have a stronger kind of grip on them than some of these saturated uh, Western Europeans. That would be my recommendation to, to, to the EU and to the Western European players in the EU. Um, the recommendation for the Central European countries themselves is very clear. Also, you have a lot of good points to make and you bring a level of ambition about Europe and NATO to the table that not all have, but you're sometimes damaging yourself by actually overplaying you know, your huge Russia issue. For the Americans, Europe is increasingly turning into a strategic backwater. Um, for them, uh, Europe matters less. It doesn't put enough on the table. Um, and my, my plea to the Americans would be, look at the strategic landscape of Europe uh, it's actually going to be more relevant instead of less over the next 10, 15, 20 years. Um, and you will need those allies there. And some of the best allies you can get um, are the ones that genuinely still love you. And those are the Central Europeans. Mm -hmm.